Hi guys, welcome to your channel DNA. So today I come up with another CCNA complementary lab. So here the scenario is a little bit different what we have discussed in the last uh, complementary lab. We have a router one, right, which is providing the servers, uh, is providing the service connected to the servers. And we have a router two and router two. Consider these two router as a customer router. Now, in this case, what happened here? On my router one, I do not have uh, two ports to connect to different customer. I have only single port, we have a zero slash zero. But now, on the same interface, I would like to onboard these two customers. Those will access my servers. So, in this case, how we can achieve this? Simple here, I can say router one stick network for WAN, router one stick network for WAN. When I say router one stick network for WAN means on the gigabyte zero slash zero interface, we will create two sub interface, one for customer one and one for customer two. Then we have to connect these two customer to the layer two switch. We can call it as a tor switch, top of the rack switch, or you can say WAN switch. And on this switch, we will create two VLAN, one VLAN for customer one. And another VLAN for customer 2. Clear? So, here in this example, we have VLAN 10 for customer 1 and VLAN 20 for customer 1. So, here guys, two interface will treat as a two different point. Clear? Okay? So, now switch port gigabyte 0 slash 0 connected to the router 1 gigabyte 0 slash 0 with the trunk port. And the interface gigabyte zero slash two connected to the router two we, we can be the access port or trunk port. It could be anything. Similar way for switch WAN switch interface zero slash twenty four connected to the customer two router three interface gigabyte zero slash zero. It could be again access or trunk. If it is a trunk, then you have to configure the sub interface on your customer router as well as soon as we configure these two ports connected to the customer 1 and customer 2 or rtr1 means router 2 and router 3 the frame will be tagged with the vlan id so to understand the tag your both router router 2 and router 2 must have the sub interface with dot 1 q vlan configuration clear so let's go and configure the device so first let's configure the switch let's start with the switch okay go to the switch create two vlans configuration terminal vlan 10 name van 1 customer cust 1 is it fine so van 1 customer 1 then vlan 20 name van 2 cusc customer 2 so vlan 10 is for customer 1 and vlan 2 uh, 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 vlan 20 vlan 10 is for customer 1 and vlan 20 is for customer 2 so let's go and configure the first let's configure the interface gigabyte with one which is connected to my router 1 okay so Interface gigabyte 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk then switch port trunk allow VLAN 10 and 20. So, what will happen? So, uh, both VLAN means this gigabyte slash 1 interface will carry the both VLAN traffic VLAN 10 and 20. Clear? So, now do one thing. Let's configure this gigabyte zero slash two interface, which is connected to router two, as a trunk interface and FA zero slash twenty four. Let's configure it as a access mode. So what will happen? Now you have configured gigabyte zero slash two port as a trunk. So router two interface gigabyte zero slash zero must be configured as a sub interface. Clear? Let's move on. Then no shutdown exit interface gigabyte 
जीरो स्लैश टू स्विच पोर्ड मोड ट्रंक स्विच पोर्ड अलाउ स्विच पोर्ड ट्रंक अलाउ वीलैन नाउ हियर वी विल पास ओनली वीलैन टेन वाई बिकॉज वीलैन टेन इज फॉर कस्टमर वन एंड राउटर टू कस्टमर वन राउटर टू क्लियर सो डोंट पास वीलैन ट्वेंटी ट्राफिक वीलैन टेन स्विच पोर्ड ट्रंक अलाउ वीलैन टेन देन अगेन एग्जिट एंड कॉन्फिगर इंटरफेस फास्ट इथरनेट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर स्विच पोर्ड मोड एक्सेस स्विच पोर्ड एक्सेस वीलैन ट्वेंटी परफेक्ट नॉट इज एपिंग ओवर हियर गेगाबाइट जीरो स्लैश टू एंड गेगाबाइट जीरो स्लैश वन कॉन्फिगर्ड एज अ ट्रंक पोर्ट बट ऑन गेगाबाइट जीरो स्लैश वन वी हैव पास वीलैन टेन एंड ट्वेंटी एंड ऑन द गेगाबाइट जीरो स्लैश टू वी हैव ओनली पास वीलैन टेन एफ एस जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर इज माई एक्सेस पोर्ट ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट्स कॉन्फिगर द राउटर वन नो ऑन द राउटर वन वी विल हैव द टू सब इंटरफेस वन फॉर वीलैन टेन एंड वन फॉर वीलैन ट्वेंटी क्लियर ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन क्लिक ऑन द राउटर बुट द सी एल आई कॉन्फिगरेशन टर्मिनल इंटरफेस गेगा पॉइंट जीरो स्लैश जीरो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द नो माई बैड इट्स या इट्स जीरो स्लैश जीरो फर्स्ट एंड द कमांड नो शट डाउन राइट देन एग्जिट नाउ यू आर ऑन द कॉन्फिगरेशन फ्रॉम गूगल कॉन्फिगरेशन मोड हियर यू हैव टू गो बैक टू द कमांड इंटरफेगर जीरो जीरो डॉट टेन नाउ बी मेक श्योर बिफोर कॉन्फिगर द आई पी एड्रेस यू हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द इन कैप्सुलेशन इन कैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू ओके इन कैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू बट फॉर विच वी लैंड वी लैंड आई डी टेन क्लियर एंड देन यू कैन गो एंड असाइन द आई पी एड्रेस आई पी एड्रेस टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट वन टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी टू परफेक्ट नो शट डाउन नाउ इट्स यूर सब इंटरफेस इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन हैव द डिस्क्रिप्शन डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर वैन वन सी यू एस टी कस्टमर वन क्लियर टू मीन गेगा बाइट जीरो स्लैश जीरो डॉट टेन इज फॉर वैन वन कस्टमर वन परफेक्टली फाइन एग्जिट देन सेम इंटरफेस गेगा बाइट जीरो स्लैश जीरो डॉट ट्वेंटी नाउ This dot twenty will be encapsulate VLAN twenty traffic. See, encapsulation dot one Q is the command. Twenty is the VLAN ID, right? This zero slash zero dot twenty. It is this is not the VLAN ID. Encapsulation dot one Q twenty is the VLAN ID. No shutdown. Perfect description for VAN two CUST customer. Clear, perfect. Then save the configuration, copy, run, start. Means copy running configuration into the startup configuration. Running configuration is in the RAM, and startup configuration is in VRAM. Means permanent. Okay. Show IP interface B R I E brief. So here you go. Oh oh, you have not assigned the IP address to VLAN twenty. Ah uh, sorry. Ah uh, yeah correct. Sub interface dot twenty. Okay, no problem. Forgot. Interface gigabyte zero slash twenty. IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot. What is IP address, guys? Five. C ten dot ten dot ten dot ten dot one dot one dot five. Oh, you choose a wrong IP address, Shima Prasad. It should not be the ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Oh. oh. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two fifty two. No shutdown. Okay, go back to the VLAN. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sub interface ten, and assign the IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Perfect. Let's go and see if this IP address has been override. Yes, it has been now override. Ten dot ten dot one dot one. Correct. So whenever you configure the any IP address, right directly on the interface, it will get overridden with the old IP address. Perfect. Now.
now go and copy run start copy run start yes okay now go to the router 2 router 2 cli enable configuration terminal gigabyte 0 slash 0 okay interface gigabyte 0 slash 0 first no shutdown interface this is a physical interface you have to no shutdown it right then exit and then now go and create a sub interface dot 10 why only dot 10 because it is connected to the switch port gigabyte 0 slash 2 which is only part of vlan 10 right so simple guys so we have created two virtual lan on van switch vlan 10 for customer 1 van 1 and vlan 20 for van 2 customer 2 okay ulta bol diya maine okay then enter first configure the encapsulation dot 1q 10 and then you can go and configure the ip address now make sure 10.1.1.2 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
on f is u slash 20 but when it will send towards the router one it will tagged by because gigabyte exit interface or egress interface gigabyte is u slash one we configured as a trunk port we configured as a trunk port clear now what will happen now let's consider the routing part now you have a server submit over here vlan 60 and vlan 50 these are the two server submits now definitely this router 2 and router 3 must have a route to reach these two subnetworks uh, vlan 60 and vlan 50 there are two ways to configure one is a static routing between these two router and your router one and dynamic routing such as a ospf eigrp or bgp clear right so let's go and configure the static routing when i say static routing so we make sure now you have a sub interface but till our last lecture or i can say last video we learned about the next stop address which is configured on the physical interface but now here the next stop address is something configured on the sub interface doesn't matter sub interface physical interface switch virtual interface doesn't matter next stop always be the ip address or exit interface clear Chal. so let's configure the routing on a router 2 on the router 2 right what is your point to point ip address between the gigabyte zero slash zero and the router gigabyte zero slash zero 10.1.1.0 slash 30 so one ip address we have configured over here dot 2 and 1.1 dot one we have configured over here as a dot 1.1 one dot one. So ping ping as uh, not ping configuration terminal ip route 10 dot 10 dot 50 dot 0 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 and next stop address is now the next stop address is the ip address of router 1 gigabyte zero slash 2 dot 10 interface which is in this case 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 now for vlan 60 same command ip route 10 dot 10 dot just change the 60 next stop address will remain the same perfectly fine clear the one then go back to the router 3 add two routes over here but for router 3 we have a different van link which is called as a van 2 customer 2 right so go you now your destination will be the same show ip route 10.10.50.0 255.255.255.0 dot 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 but in this case your next stop address will be next stop address will be 10.1.1.5 which is a sub interface of router 1 right 10.1.1.5 and for 60 yes the same next stop mm, sorry the same destination uh, different destination having the same next stop address enter perfectly fine so show ip route static see you can see the both route has been now installed in your routing table copy run start copy running configuration into the startup configuration clear now our job is done now guys there are a multiple networks right behind customer which is called we call it the lan network for the first is vlan 30 then we have a vlan 40 vlan 70 and vlan 80 these are the customer vlans clear so now definitely you would require a specific route on the router one to reach this lan subnet but 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 tell me server will never server will never initiate the traffic for lan but but definitely when your uh, customer lan will initiate traffic for your server this router one we would require a reverse routing so what will happen to reach vlan 30 and vlan 40 of customer one your next stop would be the 10.1.1.2 clear Let's go and configure it. Configuration terminal IP route 10.10.40.0 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 
be make sure these routes belongs to the customer one so you must define or you must mention the customer one next stop address in our case the next stop is 10.1.1.2 right which is reachable via router one sub interface gigabyte zero slash zero dot ten perfectly fine enter then add route for <coughs> 30 VLAN 40 and VLAN 30 okay just my question mark okay no we will see later right how to configure the adversary distance we already know I don't think we have a lecture yeah sure then show IP route see guys as soon as you define the uh, as soon as you define the uh, static route it will get automatically installed in your routing table now for vlan 70 and 80 70 and 80 your next stop will be the router 3 gigabyte 0 slash 1 0 slash 0 interface which is 10.1.1.6 okay let's go on same router one only ip route ip route 10. Hmm. What is the VLAN ID over here? 70 and 80. 70 and 80. Okay. So 10.10.70.0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
or I can say parent interface and do then go and create a sub interface for VLAN 30 right where now tag this with dot 1q 30 and IP address 10.10.30.1 255.255.255.0 no shut down the sub interface exit create one more sub interface gigabyte zero slash one for vlan 40 then in capsulation dot one q 40 and then configure the ip address 10.10.40.1 255.255.255.0 no shutdown clear this validate to configuration yes perfect enter w r right guys one more thing right we will configure later switch interface we have configured the sub interface on the router one now as well as on a router two but baba what about the switch interface configuration now you must configure the two VLANs on this switch 3 VLAN 50 and 60 and configure these two port connected to the server as an access port and one port gigabyte slash one connected to the router as a trunk port. Let's move on. Right, let's first configure the sub interface. Show IP INT brief. Here you go. Now you have a one sub interface. On gigabyte zero slash zero dot ten, and you have a two sub interface for a LAN. Okay, then router three. Configuration terminal. Hmm. Interface gigabyte zero slash one. First parent interface, physical interface, no shutdown. Exit. Dot. Here you have a two VLANs. One. I can say VLAN 70 and 80. So, dot 70 is just the name or numerical number defined to define the sub interface dot 1q and this is the actual VLAN ID. IP address. IP address is 10.10.70.1255.255.255.0. No shutdown exit then configure one more sub interface for 80 and encapsulation dot 1q 80 you can use up arrow on the timer not an issue and here just change the third octet to the 80 exit show ip int brief perfect so you can see uh, two sub interface over here so now guys do one thing let's try to ping try to ping vlan 60 gateway address configure on a router one from customer router two Chalo. let's ping lan to lan kaisa ping karte Go to the router 2 and here you go. Extended ping command ping enter protocol IP target IP address is VLAN target IP is VLAN 60 gateway IP address which is 10.10.60.1 configure on router 1 gigabyte zero slash 1 interface. So extended ping target IP 10.10.60.1 repeat count datagram time extended here you see now you can able to ping the destination ip address configure behind the router one for van or server services clear so now let's go and configure the vlan on switch 3 now your this interface gigabyte slash one is now we configured as a dot one q so definitely the switch port connected to the router must be in a trunk mode must be in the trunk mode okay so i think guys switch configuration switch 3 switch 1 and switch 2 configuration i am sure 
you can do by your own in case you have any issue please feel free to email me my email address is already there in the channel and definitely i will help out here clear so this is one way to configure the or you, i can say deliver the van service through the sub interface when you have the limitation on a interface or 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 you have a interfaces but you want to manage your multiple customer through only single interface clear thank you so much please subscribe uh, 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 our channel and press on the bell icon have a nice day